<laughs> so the goal on the set of this movie, everyone was saying, bigger, funnier, sexier, mm -hmm. bigger, better, sexier. How'd you guys pull it off? How does this movie pull that off? I mean, you know, I think we started off with, a, with great ingredients. Uh, you know, adding Miami to the mix, you know, adding a third wheel with Ken Jeong, uh, Olivia Munn, adding, you know, some, some pretty to, to the mix. Um, and I think we were able to still have a movie that's an action comedy, but is a hint of a romantic comedy in there, too. And I think that's why so many different people love Ride Along. And ride along too is because we're able to include everybody into this testosterone driven you know kind of like uh you know uh buddy comedy you're there. i was yeah. gonna say you you definitely said all the right things there man you can't can't really say anything better than that i mean look our, our goal with this one was to reach a a different level of international success i think we did great and breaking into those waters with the first one. But we wanted to add a lot of ingredients to give us that multicultural feel. And look, Miami is a place that welcomes everybody from all over the world. This is where people come to have a good time. So filming a movie here already gave us the feel of a universal, epic, world-renowned film. And then after that, adding the, the Benjamin Bratz, the Ken Jungs, the Olivia Munns, myself, Cubes, all of these ingredients add up for what we would like to call uh, the means of a successful movie. So hopefully these things work, man, and we uh, follow the pattern of what we did with part one. Yeah, and you guys have got such a great relationship off screen and on screen. How does that make for a great environment on set to welcome yeah. everyone in and it's have the some best. fun? It's, the it's, best. Like a, it's like a great team. You know, to win the championship, you gotta have some love for each other. And same with, with acting, duos, pairs, uh, buddy comedies. I think there has to be some genuine love for you to to get you know the sweet spot on the comedy to achieve yeah. that sweet spot you have to have general love respect for each other's uh you know role you know yeah. i want kevin to be as funny as he can be and in turn he wants me to be as funny as i need to be you know it's just two different levels of give and take and uh we understand it, honor it, and you know, push each other to be better. And also there's there there's no egos. I think that's very important when when doing a movie like this and dealing with uh, you know, the 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 co star, the star and a co star element. I don't care how big I get in my career, I'm always gonna play second fiddle to cute. I don't I don't care where it goes. The reason why is because I understand where this man has came from and what he's done. I understand the key component of our partnership and us making this movie work, what it does for us to have a franchise. Like a lot of people don't have that understanding and that, you know, that level of, of reality when it comes to thinking. I do. I think that means or that, that gives us the, the, the basically the means to to build. Our relationship can always progress. It's never gonna digress because nobody's ever walking in saying, I'm better than you, man. Get out of here. We're equal. Yeah. And this is this is this is what's amazing, man. And I look forward to working with this guy. I look forward to doing promo with this guy because there is no bad component to it. Yeah. And that's that's what the best thing is about and, this team that we put together. And I mean just by him understanding that dynamic and knowing that it works for the finished product, which is the movie, you know, that's, you know, we're trying to come together and give people something that they love. And um, so you have to have that level of sophistication that that, that Kevin has in understanding the dynamic mm -hmm. and feeding it. 